It was like four feet of mud just coming down the street like a river. Dug down, found a little baby. I don't know where it came from. We got it out, got the mud out of its mouth. I'm glad we got it. We continue to look for people who are still missing and unaccounted for. We hope to find them safely and reunite them with their family and friends. It is a combination of horror and heartache affecting much of California. And again, the numbers currently at 15 in terms of those that have lost their lives. And there is the very real fear that those numbers may be on the upswing. What a story that we have for you. One of many that we've been covering right here on Weather Center Live and on the Weather Channel. We now have to also talk about Winter Storm Hunter and how it's going to affect so many people in so many ways. We begin first with a shot from Duluth. Duluth. One of America's prettiest cities, some of the most friendly people that you'll ever meet, but right now the weather is anything but. You see this moving out over the beautiful expanse of Lake Superior where the ice is just flowing right on through, and man, the wind is very brisk. Take a look, though, for the time being, 36 degrees. Now, if you're in South Florida, that's cold. For them, that's not bad at all. It feels like it's 29, but if you get the sense that cooler times are coming to place the light Duluth, that is the truth. Take a look at this. More truth for you. The number is 100, or rather 11.6 million people dealing with some kind of winter alerts. We've got the hammer that is going to be coming down. And man, look at this. From Minneapolis to Des Moines, snow is on the way. Places like Duluth may see three to five, especially in the high hills outside of town, to the, just the north and to the, to the west of Duluth. What we're seeing is the, wow, the mountains are going to be climbing in terms of the snowfall. In Jackson proper, you've got 35, but right on top of, yeah, man, Grand Teton, which is just a shade under 14,000 feet. Those numbers are going to be going up there. We expand outward, and we are going to see from Omaha to Minneapolis, the snow chances come up, but then what's going to come in right behind it? is just this incredible rush of much colder air. No one wants to deal with it, but we certainly are going to have to. Then by the time we get into Thursday, notice St. Louis, it's more of a rain story. Chicago, it's rain. We see the precip moving through places like Minneapolis, and then it moves out, but then something else comes in, and that's going to be the colder air, which means a lot of the stuff that falls. The snow, uh, I call it stuff. I'm sure many of you guys have other names for it that are far more colorful, especially when the cold air comes through because it is going to be solid as ice. In fact, it will be ice, and it's not going to be going away when you have the cold air coming through. Minneapolis, two to three inches of snowfall can be expected. Point south, don't be surprised if some suburbs get higher amounts, maybe five or six inches of snowfall. Same rule applies there. It's not going away anytime soon. The snowfall to, from tonight through tomorrow, look at that. Dr. Postel, north on 35, some of it approaching six inches of snowfall. Now, uh, let's talk about, uh, let's see, this is Detroit. Right along the banks of the Detroit River, the camera actually in Windsor, Canada, Dr. Postel, mm. pointing north, mm -hmm. the GM Towers on the right-hand side, the Penobscot belongs actually to imagination because of the cloud cover, but something is going to be moving in this spot and many other places in the Great Lakes. Right. There's going to be some winter weather moving into places uh, that have seen a brief warm-up. And let's have a look at this map because it's been a while since we've seen this kind of winter storm move through the region. And what I plotted here was how long it's been since we've seen a winter storm warning issued from the National Weather Service. And right in this zone, right in here, it's been in some cases over 12 months. So that's a long time since we've seen a winter storm warning issued by the National Weather Service. I'll tell you what, I think that's going to change. And I would say it's going to start by maybe this afternoon's package, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The weather services may go out and put out a winter storm watch first and then a warning later. So right in this zone where we haven't seen much winter weather in the last year or two, some is coming. And unfortunately, it's going to be problematic with ice being a big factor. In other words, freezing rain, where rain comes down from the clouds, but then freezes on contact right where the surface temps are at or below 32 degrees. So there may, in some cases, along this swath, be more than a half of an inch of ice accretion or accumulation, which can bring down trees, uh, turn in power outages. It could be a real problem. And of course, travel, of course, being a big time factor here all along that zone. So we have to watch that very carefully. Let me time it out because later on tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, you might look at the weather maps or your radar and say, where's the winter weather? Not yet. The cold air, the Arctic air, will be sliding underneath the rain like this from the west-northwest. And you're going to start to see some of that rain freeze on contact. That's freezing rain. That is going to take much more of the weather maps later on Thursday night and Friday morning than prior. So here we go. Friday morning, area of low pressure developing across the deep south. But it is along this swath that that freezing rain could come down pretty hard. Again, that would make travel almost impossible in some of those areas. And then snow on top of that. So imagine going from rain to freezing rain to snow 
and in the cold for a few days after. That keeps the ice in place for a long time. A lot of times when you get these freezing rain events, you transition over to rain and then it warms up and you melt. Not this time around. Much colder air comes in back behind the system and makes it wintry-like for at least a few days well into next week before a much bigger warm-up comes later at the end of the month. I'll talk about that in a second. But to talk about how much snow, again, a lot of this will come on top of the ice. Maybe as much as four to six. Maybe we've got some five to eight inch totals in here across parts of, look at that, not far from Nashville, Tennessee, central Kentucky, southern Indiana, Evansville maybe in play, north central Ohio, Cleveland being one of those locations for snow on top of ice. Reynolds, that's, that. no, that's Nobody the worst that. combo, isn't it? It is. And there's some bad combos, but that's certainly oh, yeah, one you of and me, one oh, of them. Well, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. But no one wants the snow and the ice. Uh, what, what can you do? <laughs> right. Hey, you know what? Let's make us feel better by taking a look at a great city like uh, Nashville. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, uh, yes. And there are a lot. There's, uh, you know what? I bet you could point out some things in that image that would just tickle the heart. That what? you'd just be so happy to see. A parking garage? Correct Correctamundo. Yes. yes. And you know what? We have parked over parts of the Music City. Well, eventually it's going to be cold air. But before that, we've got some weather to deal with. It could be rain, could be sleet, could be snow. Then the hammer of cold air comes on down. No one wants it, but sure enough, this is what's going to be delivered. And one of the things that's going to bring it to your doorstep is this thing right there. Well, there's more than just one thing, but it's the area of low pressure. It's a series of boundaries. Then it's that air mass right ahead of it, and the air mass that's coming on in. Gulf moisture. There you go. All right. You see this thing driving its way up into the northeast, you're probably wondering, oh my gosh, we're in New York City, what are we going to deal with? More more of the snow? More? No, it looks like it's going to be more of a rain event for you, but it's going to be the back half of the system where it's going to be more of the winter variety. For tonight, we see the rain out to the west, but we also have the sleet and snow. It's a big, big bunch of Crayola, isn't it? A whole bunch of different colors. By the time tomorrow comes calling, we've got rain showers in places like Nashville, back into Memphis and Mud Island. Then we roll forward into Thursday night, more of the rain coming, but what about Friday? What Friday? What, what we, can we expect across the Ohio Valley? That's when we're going to see things become a little bit more of a, a hodgepodge. Rain, sleet, snow. Let's say, for example, you happen to be in Raccoon Mountain right up here, in the over towards Chattanooga. One side of the state of Tennessee, on the other side of the state, entirely different conditions, and sandwiched right in the middle, you've got Nashville. Crazy times can be expected. Now, look at this. The damp side of, of Hunter, we're going to have plenty of it. That's certainly something you're going to have to contain with, say, in Boston, one or two inches of, of rainfall. The same deal in, in, say, D.C., Richmond, or even in New York. But the back half of it, we have the colder air. Mm-hmm. Could be kind of messy. Well, you know what? We've got, uh, again, a great uh, chance of seeing all kinds of trouble across the Great Lakes. And to give you more of a heads up what you can expect, keep it here on the Weather Channel. Coverage continues from 8 p.m. through midnight and beyond right here on the Weather Channel watching Winter Storm Hunter. It is going to be a mess for a lot of folks. All right, folks, first let's make our way to Chicago. And in Chicago, we see, well, in the foreground, some trees and cars, but the buildings, the skyline has disappeared. Right now in Chicago, it is a balmy 40 degrees that feels like it's 33, but we've got changes that are going to be on the way there, too. And it is almost like falling off the side of a cliff. I was talking to Greg Diamond, our amazing weather producer, and Dr. Postel about this before the show started. And look at this, going from 55 degrees on Thursday, and there we're going to stay, right? Easy Street, not hardly. We see a collapse in terms of temperatures going into the teens. Maybe some more snowfall as we jump into Monday. Tuesday, partly cloudy, but possibly one of the cooler days with a high temperature of 15 degrees. So, yeah, ugly times are coming. It's not just going to be Chicago. It'll be places like the Twin City. Back in Duluth, cold times. And notice the 24-hour temperature forecast. We see this inexorable invasion of cold air moving into Bismarck, Sioux Falls, North Platte, Pier, Duluth, Twin Cities. Uh, be ready for it.